you know what this is with a little bit more fun with a little bit more hello everyone this is Ricardo Review. guess who's back back again me fine and it's really a back again because this me fine well packed as usual great fall control it's the illusion slash again featured on the channel again without fuji guides because i'm not a sucker and i think it's the same length as the first one that i have because this is my third illusion not because it break because I had someone that bought me some of my older rods that like it so much when I put it on the video that he bought it from me and I have to get, got another one and when I got the second one, spinning version, I got a bigger one, so the 193 centimeter version. But enough about that, we have in here the illusion casting version and I will quickly run you through the specs that are basically without with some pluses than the spinning version so this is a 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 gram rod actually you can go up until 1.2 grams with not no stress it has a 0.7 millimeter tip uh, it's available on, on 180 185 and 193 centimeters or 511 6164 uh, the weights on the rods on the spinning version go from 55, 55, 60 on the three models. The casting versions, I think because of the headed uh, guide and the beefier um, reel seat, uh, go up on weight by 10 grams. So where you had 55, 55, 60 grams, now you have 65, 65, 70 so now they weigh 2.3 ounces, 2.3 ounces and 2.5 ounces on the 6.4 model but enough with stats let's take it out of the sleeve exactly the same as the spinning, exactly the same as the spinning same LS guides, you also can get it with the Fuji O guides and the same guide even though this one says C guide but it has a casting reel seat let's just take a quick look assemble it, take a quick look on my spinning illusion slash so remember this one is a little bit bigger so this is 193 centimeter model and I have to tell you that even though they look very similar the casting version has one more guide so it will have 8 plus 1 the casting and the spinning version will only have 7 plus 1 guides this is the first one it's smaller and a lot closer to the blank but basically the same rod with one plus one more guide and smaller guides if you let the spinning version here and also because i have it in here trying not to break the rods i don't know if uh, the camera will do something funny because i'm hitting the rods everywhere now you see the real seat it's bigger on the casting version and i think it's from that and the added guide that you get that 10 gram weight gain on the casting version and now starts the conundrum of this rod i really like that rod i will not recommend it as a someone that wants a very um, versatile rod this is a very very specific rod the spinning one that i have this one i did not test it yet i just unbox it but it's very specific for me it's when i weighed and when i 
need to target smaller fish because it's mostly what I will have in quantities that will let me fish for one hour and catch like 10 fish on the small window of time that I have. This one I want to accomplish the same thing but with a little bit more fun, with a little bit more <laughs> casting. So this one, even though it has the same cast weight, I will have to throw um, heavier stuff because I'm still new to BFS. It's just for you guys to... Nice! Ah, scheisse! And it's gone. I also want to address why I think Mifain did this rod. For me, on my personal opinion, they have a lot more rods that I, they could make a BFS rod. Like the Motrol draw, it's a lot more versatile than this one, because with the Motrol draw, even though it has a cast weight until 1.5 grams, it can cast until 3 grams with no problem. It's a lot faster than the Illusion. And overall, it's all the rod that you need up until 3 grams. Or they could do like an ineffable, which is also a very, very good blank that it's very versatile and will let you throw anything uh, uh, from 2 grams to 10 grams with no problems, with very, very precision control and still maintaining a very, very sensitive rod with a very, very uh, low diameter tip. A very, very whippy rod. They did this because of you guys. I, I can bet you that Mifine sells more illusion slash, I will not say casting, but the, the spinning version, it's for sure the best selling rod that they have. And probably it outsolds everything else put together on their catalog. That's why we have this. The guide conundrum, I really don't know why, because Mifine has a casting rod. I don't know if it's made by them because the design or it's older it's a bit different than the other ones it's just a black rod that says dreamcast on the side it's not like the usual nice finishing uh, nice presentation very sleek or colorful rods that mifine has but they have it it's a casting rod from 3 to 15 grams something like that it's a light casting rod and it has casting guides uh, this may turn you off but one thing i can tell you i will not be a guy to judge before i test it it for sure left me with a foot behind me uh, i was a little bit apprehensive about it because this is the best selling and maybe they just flip it put it a uh, uh, casting reel seat and sold it. I want to believe not and I will test the rod, give it a fair shake and I will inform you guys if this is anything good or if it's bad or if it's like the spinning version. A very very good rod for as type of conditions and the type of fisherman. I recommend this to someone that has a lot of rods, um, has a lot of options and have to has to have the perfect tool on the perfect time. This is sort of it, it's a budget, but if you want to have a lot of rods and you don't have a lot of money, this is a good option for the super, super ultralight. I want to believe that this could be the same thing on the casting version, but I really, really want to test it. I want to advise you that by now I will say, I'll see you next time on the water or something like that. And usually I will cut to a, like a teaser of me with a rod bending and saying something dumb, like, ah, oh, it's killing me or it's bending the rod so much. Probably will not happen on this. I will publish this video because it may take me some time to catch fish on this rod. Not because I cannot catch fish, uh, I can catch fish, 
but it's because it's very very light I'm still breaking in the poor lure silver feather and it may take me a while to be able to cast one gram lures uh, it's a learning curve I'm still new to BFS I never claim to be a pro I want to show you guys how can you learn as I'm learning to delve on the BFS way uh, but I will try if I can manage to do something I will put it the teaser and delete the part of me saying I suck at BFS and just show as that I'm a pro but until then I will see you guys next time bye